All right, now it's time to learn a little bit about HTML5. This is another word for semantic markups. And semantic is a word that just means it is what it sounds like it is. So I've gone to W3Schools here. So I've gone to W3Schools here and circled the three semantic elements that we are going to learn today. We're going to learn the nav tag, the main tag, and the footer tag. And you will also see that these are in our slideshow. The nav tag, the main tag, and the footer tag. This is just to identify three sections of the website that we're building. So let's jump over to Visual Studio Code and put some of these in. Remember, we're working in between the two body tags because this is the section of our website that we want people to see. I'll start by adding the two nav tags, nav start tag and the nav end tag. Then I will add the main tags. There's the start tag and here's the end tag. And then I'll put this last line in a footer tag. And you know, I think while I'm here, I will put the footer in a P tag because it should be tagged up. You don't want to have any stuff hanging out without a tag. So by themselves, these tags, as you can see, they don't change anything about what we've already designed. It's the same, but their purpose is so that we can put some inline styles on these tags. If I put an inline style on the main tag, something like center, then everything here will be centered. So that saves me from putting an inline style on each and every tag. So our navigation is going to be a home page and I'll skip a space and another page that will say five topics. Why don't we put a pipe symbol in between? So the pipe symbol is that straight line above your backward slash key. So I've got home, space, pipe symbol, space. I will copy these nav tags and put them on the, let me save, and put them on the other page. So again, this is going to go above the H1. There's the nav. Let's get a main tag on this page. And this page does not have a footer. So we've added our HTML5 elements. And let me just put in a comment. So the comment tag begins with an exclamation point and it has two dashes. You'll notice after I typed that first part, exclamation point, two dashes, the end tag was typed for me. I'm going to just put a comment here that says HTML5 tags are semantic elements. Remember I said what semantic means? It means it is what it sounds like it is. So if you see nav, you can assume it's navigation. If you see main, you can assume that's going to be the main part of the website. If you see footer, you can assume that's going to be the bottom. So it is what it sounds like it is. And now you've learned a little bit about the comment tag too. You'll notice that the comment tag does not show up here. And it's in green. It's because of this tag. So anytime you want to put a comment to the developer, or to anyone who's going to look at your code, you can do it using the comment tag.